What if a star you've never noticed suddenly became one of the brightest in the night sky? Somewhere in the constellation of Corona Borealis, 3,000 light years away, a dying star is preparing for an explosive rebirth. Its name? T. Coronae Borealis. Unlike most novas that take thousands of years to erupt, TCRB is different. This rare star system is a recurrent nova, meaning it explodes at regular intervals. This could be the brightest nova of the century, so powerful that for a few nights, you won't need a telescope to see it. But why does this star refuse to die? What makes T. Coronae Borealis so unique? And when exactly will it erupt? To answer these questions, we must venture deep into the heart of a stellar time bomb before it goes off once again. High above Earth, nestled within the faint curve of the Corona Borealis constellation, lies a star system unlike any other. T. Corona Borealis, or the Blaze Star, is quiet now, but that won't last for long. This seemingly ordinary point of light hides a violent secret, one that reveals itself every 80 years in a spectacular burst of energy. T. Corona Borealis isn't just one star, it's two locked in a deadly dance. One is a dying red giant, expanding as it nears the end of its life. The other, a white dwarf, a remnant of a once massive star, small but incredibly dense. Over decades, the red giant sheds its outer layers, feeding gas onto its smaller companion. This stolen material spirals into a superheated disk around the white dwarf, steadily building pressure, until one day the inevitable happens. The world first took notice of T. Coronae Borealis in 1866, when it erupted into view without warning, transforming from a faint, invisible star into a glowing beacon seen with the naked eye. Nearly a century later, in 1946, it happened again, confirming that this wasn't just a single cosmic accident, but a pattern written in the stars. Now, almost 80 years later, astronomers are watching, waiting, for history to repeat itself once more. So why does this keep happening, century after century? The answer lies in the balance of mass, pressure, and time. As gas accumulates on the white dwarf surface, it compresses under extreme gravity. Eventually, the temperature and pressure become so intense that a runaway thermonuclear reaction ignites, causing the star to explode in a brilliant flash before the cycle starts all over again. The clock is ticking. T. Coronae Borealis is preparing for its next eruption, and when it happens, we will witness one of the most spectacular stellar events of our time. Deep in the Corona Borealis constellation, an invisible process is unfolding. The red giant, nearing the end of its life, is slowly shedding its outer layers. But this lost material doesn't disappear. It's being pulled into a deadly embrace by its companion, a white dwarf. The white dwarf is an extreme object, a stellar corpse, once a massive star, now collapsed into something no larger than Earth, but far denser than anything on our planet. With gravity hundreds of thousands of times stronger than Earth's, this tiny but powerful star begins to steal hydrogen from its companion. The gas spirals into an accretion disk, where it heats up to millions of degrees. As more and more gas builds up, something inevitable happens. The temperature and pressure skyrocket. At about 10 million degrees, nuclear fusion ignites, and in a fraction of a second, the entire surface of the white dwarf erupts in an explosive inferno. This is a nova explosion, a sudden brilliant burst of energy as the accumulated hydrogen is obliterated in a thermonuclear firestorm. Unlike a supernova, where a star is destroyed in a violent collapse, a nova is different. It's a surface explosion, the white dwarf itself survives. 
It simply blows off the excess gas and continues its cycle, waiting to erupt again. So why does T. coroni borealis not go supernova like Betelgeuse will one day? The key difference is mass. Supernovae occur in stars at least eight times the mass of our Sun when their cores collapse under their own gravity. TCRB's white dwarf is nowhere near that size. It will never collapse into a supernova, but it will continue to explode as a nova over and over again every 80 years or so. Most of the time, T. Corona Borealis is completely invisible to the naked eye, just another faint forgotten point of light. But in 2025, everything will change. When it erupts, it will surge in brightness, becoming as luminous as Polaris, the North Star, one of the most visible objects in the night sky. For a brief moment, a star that has remained unseen for decades will shine like a cosmic lighthouse, visible to anyone who looks up. But this event won't last long. Unlike a supernova that can glow for months, a recurrent nova like TCRB fades quickly. After just a few days, the light will begin to weaken, slipping back into obscurity. Within a week or two, it will vanish completely, returning to its quiet cycle for another lifetime. For astronomers and sky watchers alike, this is a rare opportunity, a cosmic spectacle that won't happen again for another 80 years. If you want to witness this extraordinary event, you need to know where to look. T. Corona Borealis sits in the Corona Borealis constellation, best viewed from the Northern Hemisphere. It will be most visible in the summer of 2025, high above the horizon on clear nights. No telescope is required. Just step outside, look up, and you'll see one of the brightest novae of the century unfold before your eyes. For thousands of years, humanity has watched the stars, searching for meaning in the lights above. In 2025, we get to witness a celestial event that few generations have ever seen, a star refusing to die, erupting in brilliance before fading into the cosmic abyss once more. Will you be watching? Right now, T. Corona Borealis is a recurrent nova, a white dwarf siphoning material from its red giant companion and erupting in smaller bursts every few decades. But what if this process doesn't stop? What if the white dwarf keeps collecting mass until it reaches a critical point? If the white dwarf in TCRB grows past 1.4 times the mass of our sun, a limit known as the Chandrasekhar limit, it won't just trigger another nova it will ignite an unstoppable chain reaction and explode as a supernova. Scientists believe that some recurrent novae like TCRB could eventually transition into type IA supernovae, the most powerful stellar detonations in the universe. Unlike other supernovae, which occur when massive stars collapse, Type IA supernovae happen when a white dwarf reaches a critical mass and undergoes uncontrolled thermonuclear fusion. The result? A single, blinding explosion that completely annihilates the white dwarf, leaving no trace of its existence. At around 3,000 light years away, TCRB is far enough that even if it did explode as a supernova, it wouldn't pose a direct threat to Earth. However, it would be a spectacular sight. Some type IA supernovae become so bright that they outshine entire galaxies, visible even in daylight for weeks. Ancient civilizations recorded supernovae in the past, events so brilliant they were mistaken for new stars. If TCRB goes supernova, future generations of astronomers may witness a similar celestial event. We are about to witness a rare cosmic event, one that happens only once every 80 years. For most of us, this could be our last chance to see T. Coronae Borealis explode in our lifetime. Unlike stars that burn for billions of years, 
Novi, like TCRB, live on a cosmic time scale that we can experience. A star that was invisible yesterday will suddenly shine, only to vanish again days later. It's a reminder that the universe is not static. It's alive, in constant motion, changing in ways we can see with our own eyes, if we only take a moment to look up. Ticaroni Borealis will be visible to the naked eye, no telescope needed. Just look toward the Corona Borealis constellation in the northern sky. For a few nights, this long dormant star will outshine everything around it, becoming one of the brightest points in the heavens. And then, just as quickly as it appeared, it will fade, disappearing for another lifetime. If a single tiny white dwarf in a distant constellation can erupt with such power, what other celestial time bombs are waiting to go off? How many other stars in our galaxy are nearing their final moments, waiting for the right moment to ignite? The cosmos is full of mysteries, and T. Coroni Borealis is just one of many. But for now, it gives us something truly special, a fleeting, brilliant explosion to remind us of the universe's endless wonders.